US claims that Russia ramps up weapon production faster than ever with Chinese support. Russia has produced munitions, missiles, tanks and armoured vehicles at a faster pace over the last year than at any time in its modern history, including during the Cold War, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken said during a conversation with World Economic Forum President Borge Brend. How has it been able to do that? Blinken asked, because it's getting massive inputs of machine tools, microelectronics, optics, mostly coming from China. 70% of the machine tools, 90% of the microelectronics are coming from China. Now, these are dual use items, but we know very clearly where so many of them are going. Blinken highlighted the dual challenge posed by China's support. It not only allows Russia to sustain its military actions against Ukraine, but also helps rebuild its defense industrial base. At the very time that Russia is seeking better relations with countries in Europe, it's also fueling the greatest challenge to European security since the end of the Cold War, he added. As I shared with my Chinese colleagues, you can't have it both ways. The US has been actively engaging with China to discourage support for Russia's military efforts since the conflict with Ukraine began. Unlike Iran and North Korea, which directly supply weapons to Russia, China's contributions are more subtle but equally critical, offering invaluable support to the Russian defense industry and helping it dodge sanctions through various export controls and measures. German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius also noted Russia's increased production, suggesting that it exceeds the needs for its conflict with Ukraine and is likely aimed at restocking military depots. In February 2023, China proposed a peace plan to stop the war in Ukraine, which called for direct negotiations between Moscow and Kiev without any notion of Russia withdrawing its troops from occupied Ukrainian territory. In March 2024, Chinese diplomats reiterated Beijing's position, saying that the conflict would have to be resolved through negotiations that need to take Russian interests into account. Blinken arrived in Shanghai on a three-day visit to China from April the 24th to the 26th to pressure China to stop its companies from contributing to the development of Russia's defense industry. Tornadoes killed four people in Oklahoma, including an infant, and left thousands without power after a destructive outbreak of severe weather flattened buildings in the heart of one rural town and injured at least 100 people across the state, according to Associated Press. Significant damage was reported across the region, including in Marietta, where damage was reported to Marietta Hospital. Hospital patients took shelter during the extreme weather, and no injuries had been reported there. The storms also forced the closure of Interstate 35 North at the Texas state line because of overturned vehicles and power lines that were thrown across the roadway. The Chickasaw Nation was providing support for the storm response in Marietta. More than 20,000 people were still without electricity hours after tornadoes began late Saturday night. The destruction was extensive in Sulphur, a town of about 5,000 people, where a tornado crumpled many downtown buildings, tossed cars and buses and sheared the roofs off houses across a 15-block radius, about 30 people were injured in Sulphur, including some who were in a bar as the tornado struck. Hospitals across the state reported about 100 injuries, including people apparently cut or struck by debris, according to the Oklahoma Department of Emergency Management. The deadly weather in Oklahoma added to the dozens of reported tornadoes that have wreaked havoc in the nation's midsection since last Friday. Another death was reported Sunday in Iowa, where officials in Pottawatomie County said a man critically injured during a tornado had died. Go, 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 just hit something. Please go fast. Alright, go north here. Yeah, go north here. Oh, he's gonna hit that building. Go up, pull up behind him. It's getting strong. Really strong. Slow down, stop. Can you hear it? Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. It is Haley. It's gonna hit something. Those Look how fast it's... Yeah. He's gonna hit the... Oh, it's gonna hit that barn. Oh, boy.
Look at that. Look at that roof flying in the air.